Okay, today's skill of the week is know your pencils and use them properly. So uh, we have different types of drawing pencils and they range from a 6B, which is your softer and darker pencils, to 6H, which are your harder and lighter pencils. Now, you can see I wrote each one with its specific uh, number and letter. And a way to remember this, see how, how, see how dark that 6B is and how light that 6H is? That's just normal pressure, okay? So you can lighten it up as much as you need. Like you could use a 6B and create a pretty light effect, but you're going to get a very soft, uh, pencil lead, it's much thicker usually. So like here's your 6B. It's got a very thick lead and opposed, as opposed to your 6H, which you can see it has a very thin lead, okay? And it's much, much harder. These 6H pencils, which you can see right there, 6H, although I think I have it upside down. There we go. And of course you're going to see it a little bit backwards. Uh, these will last you for years and years because they are very hard and it doesn't take very much to use them. Whereas the 6B pencils, okay, 6B, since they are very soft, you usually go through them pretty quickly if you're doing a lot of high contrast areas where they use lots and lots of darks and things like that. So when you're using a 6B pencil, let's see if I can do this here. Okay, it doesn't take much effort to create a pretty dark area. I'm not pushing very hard. I'm starting fairly light and it's a good way to create your really dark areas by starting with the lightest pressure you can and then layering the different values on there. Okay, and then you can just build up to your very, very dark values. Notice I'm going over it quite a bit, okay? And I really don't have to push very much. That way it saves your pencil. You know, it doesn't uh, run out as quickly and you don't have to sharpen it as much. And you get a nice, solid piece of black area without cur curving your paper, because it will curve your paper. Okay, let's see if I can get that. Uh, and see how flat my paper is. If I push too hard too quickly, it will ripple the paper. Okay, so now we can switch switch to the 4B. Okay, and again, I'm going to start light. Notice it does start quite a bit dark, uh, lighter than the 6B, but I can get it pretty dark. Okay, back and forth you might end up with some grainy areas in a 6B and a 4B. But I can still get it pretty dark with a 4B. So, uh, see, if the more I push and the keep, way I keep layering it, I can still get it pretty dark. It's, it's pretty close to being 6B quality, depending on how many layers you put on there. But if I were to create a chart, I would keep this fairly light so that it didn't um, look exactly like the 6B, because you want to you wanna have a progression of values here. Okay, and your 2B is uh, a little bit more medium grade, and it's harder. Okay, so you're not going to get as soft of an edge, but you can do a lot of shading with a 2B pencil. Okay, you can get a, a pretty good dark value with 2B. It just takes a little bit longer. Okay, and you might have to work in between your areas a little bit more. See, I'm having to go back in to make it even. Okay, so I can still get pretty dark with a 2B, uh, but it, it is a harder pencil. So if you need to go in and uh, clean up some areas on your 6B or even in your 4B, if it's grainy looking or there are speckles of light areas, you can go in with a 2B and uh, kind of clean that area up. 
Then we get our HB, and you can see it's quite a bit lighter, and you can see that the lead quality uh, is sharper because it is a harder pencil. Okay, and it's a little bit more difficult to get it more even because it is a harder pencil. So I have to take my time, go in and be patient, go in different directions, keep it light, just build the value slowly, okay, and I can get a pretty decent uh, consistent shading. Okay, when you go to the 2H, again it's harder, so sometimes working with a 2H pencil you don't want to have it too sharp, so if you need to dull it down a little bit, just work on a piece of scratch paper and dull it down so it's not so sharp. Uh, otherwise, what's going to happen is you're going to get very liney quality shading, and then you just have to keep going over it and over it and over it, and you want to keep it light. Now, notice where my hand is on the pencil. It's farther back because I want to keep it fairly light, and I don't want to push too hard, so it's easier not to push hard if you keep it back away from the pencil lead. Okay, so if I'm up here, I'm going to end up pushing too hard. Okay, so just lightly. Okay, and to get it even, you really have to work in different directions so that you can get a nice, a nice value. Okay. So see that? You can get a fairly nice value. I might need to take my, my 2H and go back to the HB and kind of clean some things up there. Like I could go back in here, clean some things up, and make it a little bit smoother. Okay? And I like to line up my pencils. Well, I'll go over that in just a second. Okay? 4H. Okay? Again, I've got a super sharp lead on there. I might need to dull it down a little. Okay, and it's still really sharp. See how it, it, it keeps it sharp for a long time. So don't sharpen your, your H pencils too much. But it's really hard to see if you're keeping it light and building your value slowly, being patient with it. This is kind of a, a patience kind of thing when you're learning about pencils and how to use them. And notice I have my hand far back on the pencil again. And I'm just letting the pencil do the work. I'm not pushing hard at all. Okay, you can get a really nice gradation of values. And a gradation is just a slight change in value over an area. Okay, so you can get it nice and smooth. You just have to take your time. Okay, if I don't take my time, I'm going to have it very liney. Okay, got my 6H, and look, it's super sharp again. So try to dull it down a little bit. Okay, and then very, very lightly. I'm going to have my hand clear back on the end of the pencil. Just as light as I can go and try and keep the lines very close together. And when I'm working on any kind of shading, I want to try to keep my hands away from the shaded area because this is what happens. You get smudges all over. Okay, and I like to move my paper around. Uh, it just makes it easier for me to go in different directions without getting my hand on the drawing. Okay, so you get a nice gradation of values with each of these types of pencils. Now, I do have an area for writing pencil and a mechanical pencil. A writing pencil is just your basic yellow pencil. Now these particular pencils are HB pencils that I have in the art room. Let's see if I can turn it. There we go. It's an HB. It's usually middle of the road. Anytime they say, oh, bring a number two pencil, bring a yellow number two or whatever, they're just talking about your basic writing pencil. Okay, and you can get a pretty good shading with a writing pencil. Okay, it's basically just like an HB or a 2B. I can get a pretty decent, this one seems a little bit harder, so maybe more like a, a 2H. Okay, 
but I can still get a pretty good, nice, soft gradation. Keeping it uh, close together, your lines need to be close together. You can't shade like that, okay, because you're just going to get it all liney, and then it's really hard to fix that. But if you go really close together, you can get a really nice, soft shading. Okay, so these are okay to use as a middle-of-the-road pencil. Your mechanical pencils, they tend to be quite a bit harder, even if they say they are an HB or a 2A, 2B. They tend to be a little, oh, well, this one's a little bit softer, okay? But keep in mind, look at that point. You're not ever going to get the softness that you get with your regular drawing pencils because they're always sharp. I do like using mechanical pencils for details, on like uh, skin, especially when drawing a person and they've got like little, like my little scab I have right here. You have little details that you want to put in there and a, a mechanical pencil is always going to stay sharp so you can put those kinds of things in there. Also, mechanical pencils are great for putting like hair on animals and things like that, okay? so. I can still get a fairly good shading as long as I am being very patient, slow, back and forth, okay, I'm not trying to go fast here, but see even with as, as little or as much time as I'm taking, see the line quality, I'm still seeing lines in there and things like that, so I would have to go over it quite a bit more than with my regular pencil. So a mechanical pencil is okay for last second details or even to use to go back into here and make some things a little bit uh, smoother. I, I like to go in with a mechanical pencil because I always stay sharp. Like with my 2B, I can go in and I can go to these little speckly areas. I don't know if you can see them very well, but I can go in and I can clean those areas up because it is a harder pencil and make it a little bit smoother, okay? As long as I am taking my time and not pushing too hard. Uh, and I can go in here. Now you you don't want to ever take a 6B over a 6H and and try and clean that up because you're going to darken your 6H area too much. And also, a uh, hard or I mean a soft pencil doesn't go over a hard pencil very well, especially if you shade very dark. Like let's say I, I'm pushing really hard with that 6H, so I can get it pretty pretty dark but you're gonna see quite a bit of lines, quite a few lines there. And if I go back over and try to darken it, it almost repels my 6B pencil. And then you, it's, it's as if the 6B has turned into a 6H. Notice that I can't seem to get a good soft shading. I'm seeing lines on there even though this is a 6B. So always work your dark pencils first and then work up to your lighter pencils, okay? So uh, practice those because high contrast areas are the best for viewing and keeping interest in your art. We don't want everything to be in this range. We want lots of different ranges. We want darks, we want mediums, we want very light areas uh, working together to complete your picture. All right, thank you.